Hey everybody, welcome to AGS News. This is the first of two videos we got for you today. But first, an important word from our sponsor. Joe, we need to get him something for his birthday. Oh, he's so hard to shop for. I know. He's getting like tools or something. No, Joe, he already has all the tools known to man. What about a shirt? Yeah, shirts are easy if he didn't wear circus tent size shirts. They're hard to find. Um, you know what? Go ask him for money. We'll figure it out later. Yeah, go ask him for money. All right. Go, go, go. Hey, Dad, can I borrow some money? For what? Uh, school supplies. Wait, isn't it May? And aren't you almost 40? No. Thanks, Dad. Okay, I got the money. I okay, the money. I think I have the perfect gift. Yeah, me too. He needs a new calendar. He doesn't even know what month it is. What? Stupid. No, not a... No, a wallet, Joe. Look at how giant that thing is. An extra wallet, too. But he's got a lot of stuff. What happens if that one's too small? He needs to slim down, and plus, Extra has plenty of other dad size wallets as well. It's the perfect gift. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I know some of your wallets look like this. Yeah. You got all sorts of crap in there. You don't need any of that stuff. It, it could look like upgrade. this. Yeah. <laughs> Click the links down below. Get yourself a wallet. Get one of your friends or family one. Alex, uh, what the heck has been going on in gaming news over the past week? Uh, move over, Starfield, uh, <laughs> Hogwarts, and uh, every other game that's any good. That's cool. uh, there's a new game of the year oh. that just got announced and is coming. Skull Island Rise of Kong has been announced. What? It's coming out this fall. Look, man, I'm a big fan of King Kong. King but, uh, Kong uh, video it, it, game? No, it didn't say King. It just says Kong. So. Based on the movie that came out already a long time ago, what the fuck? There was already a game that came out. And, it's and looks, another game? That This game looks surprisingly like that last game, too, because I don't... I don't know. This, this ain't it. This, this ain't it. It looks bad. You look, look, no, you look bad. I, I like Kong. Is don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. it looks, this it is looks not going to do anything for him. No it favors. Look, for this looks like Golem territory. <laughs> yeah. Man, uh, oh, this great. Like Xbox I guess we're going to we're gonna have to play this shit. This is a blast from the past. Well, the good news is we already have a monkey suit. So last from the past. It's gotta be you, you the bigger one. We actually do need it. We need to get a, a, a monkey head, but we yeah. do have the full monkey suit. We so do. It's okay. Yeah, it looks like ter it looks terrible. It's coming out on PlayStation Five, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation Four, and PC. It looks like a mobile game, but it is not. Uh, they're charging forty dollars for the base game, and it's going to be fifty dollars for the colossal edition. Um, yeah, it looks like one of those movie license games that we used to yeah. play back in the day. Oh, just like, years ago. Yeah, exactly. And that's just like, mm, no, this doesn't look good. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know what they were thinking, but <laughs> it's just it's just funny. It's like how, how like people talk about not being able to make amazing games. Like people would talk about Ultima Online Two that they you know he's Richard Gary has been begging EA for for once every five years forever, and they're like, no. But you know what? Somewhere else we're going to green light <laughs> Skull Island, the 2006 game, and we're going to re like release it and look like crap. You've been asking for it. I know. Yeah. No. Someone. Someone. Some, someone, someone, someone. Someone. I don't even think anyone's <laughs> been asking. No. <laughs> the developer's mom. Yeah. Oh, uh, my uh, son worked so hard on Oh, Miko. <laughs> <laughs> Make that jungle game. <laughs> The developers are Mexican? Maybe, I don't Hispanic? know. Hispanic? It's diversity. Oh my God. No, diversity bad. <laughs> All right. EA has signed uh, an extended license with uh, the Premier League. Uh, you know, EA, EA and FIFA broke up, right? FIFA wanted Boku Bucks. And EA's like, look, we make dirty money tricking sports gamers into paying for shoes. And no, my, and my, 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 90, my 99 rated Rooney is my, much better than your 97, 97 rated, rated Rooney. Rooney. With the and speed then, rating of 92, yeah. so and, I got to find the 88. And now you got to get messy. I mean, although, did you see that goal that he scored in the lap? Yes. That was pretty impressive. I, I was impressed. Game winner. Uh, but, I mean, that's a different league, and that was a real game. This is garbage. Yeah. We're talking about the garbage. And so EA signed... Um, 
you know, an extended deal. They're going to continue to use the clubs, players, stadiums, managers, all that other stuff in there um, to make having the, to do with FIFA, but not FIFA, but not, not FIFA. So name. I mean, they want they want it to be business as usual. It's like look, buy, consume, ultimate team, ultimate team, and um, I don't know if it's gonna. Maybe it'll work for them. Maybe people are just like so. Like they, they really want to throw money away every single year. It's it's gonna happen. It's an, honestly, it's not gonna be a big change. That's the only game they really have, so they're gonna continue. I kind of, I kind of hope that like two. I, I, it's it's another evil company, so it's like two K FIFA two K comes out, and then uh, then it splits. They're the just yeah. yeah, they're uh, getting just as bad. Well, too. my laptop's giving me <laughs> problems again, so I have to get it off of my phone. But carrying off of that. EA responds to fan criticism of women players in Ultimate Team by reminding them, it's fantasy football. We want this game to welcome everybody, gamers. So why are gamers complaining? Well, let's see here. They spend money on those packs. Uh, And they don't want women in the packs. (laughs) I spend money and I don't want to see no women in my game. So the big reveal took place last week. And there's criticism because... They've been integrating the women's game into the experience, and with this, it's introducing women players into the ultimate team mode. What is the ultimate team mode for those who've been living under a rock? Is where you buy packs, you bust packs, and now the players are busting packs, and first, and then they see a woman pop out, and they're like, God damn it! I got the fucking, uh, I got the common. I hate women, they're common. And I needed the, be- the better Players, all the women players suck, so they're getting pissed off. They're like, why are women in this? I don't want female player stats because they're not competitive with equally rated male players. <laughs> the ejection boils down to whether female players can realistically compete. Why am I spending money on this shit? I want to, yeah. So it's- Realism? <laughs> I'm glad EA is fucking you over with the the women, putting women in your ultimate team. Ultimate team sucks. And then, and you know what? Put women, put squirrels, put fucking cows, put fucking everything, every fucking gender known to man. Put them in there, god dang it. And fuck that shit all up. And so EA responded, says, it's something we really thought deeply about, said John Shepard, an executive producer. We feel we can play a really important role in the growth of that sport by introducing it to all of our fans. We just have this conviction, and we believe that we want to the unite the world around football. <laughs> it's your typical PR fucking bullshit. And he says... Uh, Well, PC Gamer thinks they make an extremely good point about the nature of Ultimate Team. Let me hear this. Ultimate Team, and so the EA guy goes on to say, uh, Ultimate Team is a mode where you can build your fantasy team with different nationalities, different leagues, different clubs. And so it felt like a great spot to be able to do that. Look. (laughs) I'm glad they're fucking it up. Okay. I don't want to say anything about the whole thing itself because it's, you know, if if you you got in the women packs and then I'm wondering if these women packs then go into the women's team and then you compete in ultimate team women's mode or are they just making the ultimate team mode completely mixed? If they are making a complete mix, that's, I guess, that's stupid because what league does that? I, I'm no league. But EA's like, but it's fantasy, mm. right? You guys like fantasy, right? I do and they're see saying, no, we don't football. like women. Pull the women out, okay? Mm-hmm. I buy to get the best stats. I spend ninety nine ninety nine so I can pull the fucking 97 Messi and get Messi all over my controller when I score the goal. And I don't want women coming in here and ruin, ruining my Messi. So I think that's hilarious. It's absolutely predictable that EDA's response. Fantasy football is what's happening there. Mm-hmm. I just hate mutt, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad they're fucking, fucking it up. Anything they can do, uh, it, ruined, it, it ruined it. it uh, I don't know. Even with integration, male players will retain certain advantages in areas like height and weight, but factors like agility will also come into the equation, and EA's goal is to clearly create as level a player field as possible. If everything is equal, they play the same way, says Rivera, Riviera. Oh, so they're they're what? So they're doing co-ed. They're they're turning their mutt mode into co-ed. Yeah. 
oh. is clearly committed to doing right by women's football, and that can only be a good thing in terms of basic fairness and opening the game up to a wider audience. That doesn't wa- you're, you're you're pissing fans off. It's They're that, gonna not want that, yeah, to exactly. have watch the women's football. You're you're not. This, you're not extending goodwill. Gamers, especially gamers that fucking blow their money on digital goods and, and trying to get a competitive advantage to pay to win, these aren't the people that you're marketing to for world peace and fucking sexual equality, whatever. You know, it's stupid. And they're going to be fucking pissed and they're going to complain about it. And I guarantee you, eventually, that shit ain't working anymore. They're going to pull the women out or they're going to separate the women into, okay, here's the women's league. Uh, ultimate team, and then here's the men's league ultimate team, but they're pissed that right now when you bust a pack, you it's have cards going. Want. No, yeah. I just want all men. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it makes sense if there's two leagues and they're like, no, I don't want these cards of a, le- a game that I'm ultimately. I don't play. Card. And then, and it's weird as like I agree with it, but I say ha ha ha. Yeah. Sorry. Ha, yeah, <laughs> I want to ruin your your thing because we don't like your thing. <laughs> we don't like. Uh, it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. As a U.S. I wouldn't even say fan. As someone who like occasionally watches, it's just like ah, our women's team is good and our men's team not so much. So it's like yeah, I root for the the, the women's team because you know internationally people respect them and the men's team everyone kind of laughs at them. I watch you guys lose to Panama. How dare you? Um, yeah, okay. but the level of competition in the men's league and like is we're talking about three hundred million dollars for one player to to try to get him to play in, yeah. uh, in Saudi Arabia. Like it's it's. It's like a global sport for a reason. There's big money in it. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, again, EA making bad decisions. It, it, it is a dumb decision, and, and I guess, um, but we're, we laugh at it because you shouldn't be playing Ultimate Team anyway, and um, th- this is the first time you're noticing you're that EA's it. making <laughs> fuck-up decisions re- with regards to Ultimate Team. Maybe, maybe this will make you sit down Shut and go, up. wait a minute, they're making me pay to win. Yeah. That's bad. Okay. Let's talk about Blizzard. Blizzard's been fucking everything up lately. Uh, Blizzard has admitted that Overwatch 2's engagement and player investment is in decline. Uh, I wonder why. They re-released a new game. They're charging you money. You know, point five. Point. Yeah, they called it two. It was really point five, and then they're like, "Oh, there's gonna be all this PVE stuff," and then there was none of that. Uh, And then now we're getting half-baked missions, and they've canceled most of it. It's a fifteen-dollar price point for, um, you know, like the new. What are they calling it? additions to the game that people are claiming are half-baked. Um, so Overwatch 2 isn't doing so great. So they are bringing it to Steam. So on the same date that they're, they're releasing the new content, it's, uh, oh. it's being switched over to Steam. Um, I wanted them to have to feel the squeeze, you know, and if they open it on Steam, they're just, it's, that's easy mode. Mm-hmm. They're just going to, people are bored and they're like, ah, well, oh, oh, Overwatch. Mm-hmm. And they get this fake little injection of players, and they're like, "Everything's fine. Everything's fine." Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of a lot of the descriptions that I know I personally have of some of these games, people are like, "That's just mean spirited." And I want to kind of explain what some of it feels like. What we're talking about here, Overwatch is a game that with in a massive of amount of potential, and it could be a game that I want to play week after week. <laughs> but the people who are in charge. I'm not necessarily developers, but the people making the decisions in Overwatch clearly don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're pissing off the people that, yep. that play their game, and they're doing the same. Blizzard's doing the same with a bunch of their other games. And so having a game like Overwatch just barely limp along, Halo's doing the same thing, is bad. I would rather Halo die as it is, Overwatch 2 die as is, and then pull a Final Fantasy XIV and just say, look, look, we recognize that we fucked it up. We want to get back to our core gameplay, and we want to make a game that we're proud of. And we've seen it work with other companies, and I just kind of want to see it here. So yeah. it, you know, we're doing a lot of shitting on games that we don't like right now, and it's because we want better for, for these games and for you as people who want to play them too. Um, so hopefully Overwatch 2 dies, and then it comes back as something better. Yeah. yeah. All right, Agreed. Let's, let's also talk about Blizzard. Uh, they put out a pat- patch of notes. For do, or basically, do fucking work, Blizzard. You, 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 I mean, where's they the old it Blizzard? Hard. It's too hard. They said it was hard. To make I things. hate game development. <laughs> I make the money. It's too hard. Why can't you just give me the money for the same old shit and the blue skin? You want the blue skin? I'll give you the blue skin. Wait, I got to develop a single player? Yeah, you promised it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me who promised it. Wasn't it. Me. I think it was yeah, Jeff. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Sorry, Alex. I'm excited today. 
Uh, Diablo 4, uh, Season 1. Now, when a new season of Diablo comes out, typically what they do is they put out a patch, try to get you really excited about it, jump back into the game. We know you played some preseason stuff. We know you probably played some of the beta stuff. Let's get excited about the new season that's coming out. Oh, and they lit go. the game on fire. Uh, <laughs> so... I don't know if, if you play action gasoline RPGs. Gasoline and a blowtorch. It's, it's, hey, you, you kids like your, your game Slappy Slappy Joes. Uh, I mean, it, it was super bad. I mean, they the game had already felt slow. Action RPGs are kind of power fantasies, right? You want to scale up your guy. You want to walk into a room, snap your fingers, and everything explodes around you. And then you're left with you know literal Diablo yeah. that you've got to fight. And so what they did is they made cooldowns uh, worse, like 30% slower. So the game is slower. They made experience slower. Why, they, they re- Alex? They reduced overall damage. And also, Why would they do something so stupid? The only thing that I can think of for sure, they gave some PR stuff, but the, the thing I can think of for sure is this game from the start feels underdeveloped and, and underpolished. And so I think that because they did very little balancing, people got to the end game too quickly. Too fast, yeah. And so they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. People are, are finishing our game too quick, and we need we need to really stretch out the time that people are in the game. Oh, that's why they told people to stop playing? Stop playing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so they're just like, slow down on the game. And so what they did is they made the game slower. They made the ability slower. They made your character slower. Everyone fucking hates yeah. that, though. It's like the dumbest thing you can do. And people were pissed. And what it did is all of the, the patch notes turned into people talking about how excited they were to play Baldur's Gate 3 and other games that are coming out. So uh, they they had a, a little town meeting where they sat up there and people asked them questions. Um, and this is this is a quote. We know it's not fun. We don't plan on doing a patch like this ever again. They've acknowledged that the patch notes were absolutely miserable and it yeah. just did the opposite of what they were they were trying to do, um, which is get ex- people excited about season one. Mm. And honestly, there's nothing to be excited about season one. I've gone through almost the entire season. There's no... There's a couple new dungeons that are pretty much the same old shit. There's like a new elite type that yeah. they just added a, a word in front, but it's the same thing. You have to, instead of killing them once, you just, you kill them twice, and it's real, oh. it's real wow. fun. There's no new loot. The new boss doesn't drop anything interesting. Like, I, so I don't need to play. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> I'll wait. I, I just don't think you do. I, I honestly don't think there's anything in season one that is going to make you want to go out and play it. Wow. And it's a shame because it's a franchise that I, I truly do love. I've got thousands and thousands yeah. of hours in three. I've got even more time in two. You said the game was good. But, I know we, we haven't covered it, but, you know. But it's incredibly unpolished. Yeah. And it's just a shame because, you know, this is also something that happens when the two people who are in charge of the game got fired. And that's what happened with Diablo 4 is the two people who were in charge were kind of rolled up into that Cosby suite thing. They got pulled from the game. And it f- f- feels like they had a hard deadline and they just weren't able to uh, to, to get a fix. So mm. I think that's hilarious. Uh, and I don't know. They're just making really bad decisions over there at Blizzard. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's funny. The Diablo 4 Battle Pass <laughs> is, is such a mess that it doesn't even give you enough platinum to buy a single cosmetic item. Because they thought that they'd be clever by giving you 666 platinum. Get it? 666. Mm-hmm. Well, you stupid fuck. Uh, 666 platinum is useless. It's not even enough to buy the cheapest item in the shop. Mm-hmm. Why are you giving me this? Uh, so you're so I pay you money, and then you give me this. And then the thing that you give me, I can't even buy the cheapest thing in the shop. I got to put more money into the machine. But it's so funny. then I can do. It's and then funny, I put more money into the machine. <laughs> and then uh, you and then I buy the smallest item. And then now I have 125 left over. What the fuck am I going to spend but, 125? I got to put more money in the machine. But, Joe, it's a free-to-play game. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, it's fucking wait. $70. No, it's not. Uh, there was also another problem with their, their battle pass. They're, they're using what's... People are calling it dastardly, and I just think the Blizzard is actually... I think they're less evil and incredibly incompetent. There's a button on the battle pass that if you click, it just says activate premium. Yeah. There's If you click it, you've activated premium, and there's no... You can't get a refund. There's no thing that says, are you sure you're going to use your free token for your one free battle pass that you use for the... Like, there's no confirmation. There's it nothing. just goes boom. Boom. You paid for it. You've used your thing. And people all over are like, uh, your, your servers are so fucking laggy that if you're trying to click through anything, that you will... Accidentally. You, and so people are accidentally clicking on this thing. It's like, look, what do I want wow. you know, 20 platinum for? It's literally worthless. So they said that there's, they're coming out with a fix for it. And again, it's just, it's just they're just grossly incompetent. They're just not doing things properly. So I guess we're just going to have to wait, if you're a big Diablo fan like me, for season two to see if they've got anything different. But... Season one seems like a total fucking failure. The heart things are stupid. Um, leveling's awful. The end game boss isn't good. I don't. I don't know what you were. Sad. What do you? 
Yeah. I don't know. I'm excited for Baldur's Gate 3. I, you know, yeah, after two years sure. of not being excited about it, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I was I'm excited. really almost adverse to it yeah. just because I, I hate the early access stuff. But um, what, next week or something? August Is it one 4th. Week, yeah, two it's weeks? coming out sometime soon. I think OG's got his, his mind made up when yeah. he wants to play. I've narrowed it down yeah. to kind of what I want to play for our co op campaign. Remember, we get to play with each Hopefully other. Hopefully, we don't get disconnected yeah. again like yeah. last time. Well, we'll have to see. <laughs> okay. So now let's talk about um, uh, Elon Musk. He uh, he's rebranding Twitter mm. as an AI powered X. Oh, I saw this. What? Yeah. Oh, now my laptop's finally working. Uh, so uh, he, if you don't know, Elon is obsessed with the letter X. His first company was called X.com. He named his child X. Literally, his child's first name is X. Sons uh, Exhibit. Space X. Uh, I wish <laughs> that would be cool. Um, and then uh, he's just. So originally, if you don't know why he may be uh, obsessed, he had a, a financial consulting, uh, financial services company called X.com that merged with another company that turned into PayPal. And he was CEO and wanted to call it X.com, and he was kind of not very good at his job. So even people who worked with him originally and all the people over at the other company, there was like this secret coup when he went on his honeymoon, and they kicked him out, and they're like, yes, you're no get, longer CEO, this guy. this guy sucks, and then Peter Thiel was, uh, became <laughs> CEO. And then they, they went public, and he made a ton of money and like, all, all that other stuff. So he worked hard on all those things, but he's been <clears throat> obsessed with X from the very beginning. So... I don't know. Okay, if they're, if they're a little, gonna... it's a little weird uh, naming your kid X, X. All your companies X. X. Like it. he's like from the nineties. It's like yes, it's extreme. It's so cool. X is the coolest thing. And I saw a tweet. He's like, if y'all haven't caught on by now, I like the, I like the X. Yeah, I, I like the X. So I like the letter X. All right. Well, I think it's incredibly stupid. Uh, you know, Brett, what does Twitter really have? Just the fucking brand, the well, name. He's making Twitter. everything worse now. Yeah, the values depleted. He, he I wants think to do this tier bullshit. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. It's it's really bad. I mean, people were moving to Threads. Maybe he was getting scared of Threads. Threads had you know the A headlines, lot. and by doing this, he can grab the headlines back. You know, so. Uh, yeah, the headline will be uh, he destroys all uh, brand notoriety that he had built up over the last, you know, or they had built up for the last decade. Wasn't with, there theories that he's like doing all this shit on purpose, like trying to tank Twitter on purpose for some fucking billionaire reason? Like, I don't know. There's got to be some kind of fucking objective here. I don't I. I just don't know it. Weaponized incompetence. Weaponized incompetence. Some people, you know, were born into money, failed upwards, and... Uh, right, well, uh, and then, you know, he keeps getting attributed to, you know, success when it's really, you know, he's the one billionaire, uh, you know, and, and then there's, like, everybody below him doing the work. Yeah. Right? And then the PayPal thing where they're like, hey, we could make this thing successful without this guy. Yeah. Jettisoned him. Powder, PayPal did really well. Yeah. So uh, uh, I, I I tweeted about this, and somebody goes, it's not well, tweeted fucking anymore. It's, 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 I X'd it's about this. I X videoed about this. That's something different. <laughs> OJ, don't Google oh, that. No. Don't Google that. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, God, what is this? <laughs> Xed about this and it was hilarious. Oh, I so I just went to Twitter. It's it's already up. It yeah, just did I X. Just Look, that. there's X yeah, in the corner. He got a logo from just some guy overnight. He had this idea and it was like literally he was talking about it all night and then now it's done. It's like. Shouldn't we? I don't know. <laughs> do some strategy sessions on this, or no, think it, it through. Okay, we're just no. gonna go. You know what most people do with their exes? Twitter. They it's forget X. about them. <laughs> so, so I said, does anyone else think this is dumb as hell? What the hell is this guy doing? Threads got this guy acting up, and uh, oh man, I got I had a a, a great a great comment. <laughs> I don't know what I'm finding here. X.com was was PayPal originally called. He sold it, got rebranded, and then he bought it back. The domain name, presumably, it's related to his X SpaceX branding. Give to you. Yeah. Website is probably going to be used for something entirely. SpaceX, yeah. Tesla X, all those other things. Um, um. All right, but I, I like the 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 responses. Well, he is the richest person on earth, so maybe he knows what he's doing, uh, and you don't. How would you like it if I tell you the name of your show is dumb? You tell me to fuck off. And then I, I was like, yeah, but if you told me renaming my show from The Angry Joe Show to G on a whim is kind of stupid, I'd 
I'd probably agree. I'd be like, yeah, that, that is kind of stupid. What is G? I don't know what G is. Yeah. If you are the uh, richest person on earth, it doesn't mean that everything you do is correct and every idea you have is gold from free from criticism. To me, I just think that's... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely cold to the personality <clears throat> thing. It's like if you get kicked out of PayPal and then they make billions and billions of dollars and you get that money just by getting kicked out because he, he still owned the stock, he didn't do any of that stuff. They're like, we're well, throwing you out because you don't know what you're doing. And then they made him a bunch of money. And then he bought Tesla, which, again, he didn't create Tesla. He bought them. And then they made a bunch of money, again, I, for, on someone else's thing. You, and you he, just got <laughs> us downvoted oh, into fucking oblivion. Oh, okay. The Elon stands have just shit oh. their pants. Oh, and then he bought t- Twitter for, what, $45 billion? And it's worth, like, billion, and it's worth like a 40. third of that now. Yeah. So it's like, this is maybe not the best thing. I so I, I just don't know. What do we call it now? Joe, are you going to t- tweet? Are you going to X? Joe, are you Xing? Hey, you need to X. Maybe I'll make some X, X videos. right now. You going to make some? Okay. X videos, baby. Mm-hmm. What about Alex your OnlyFans uh, deal? Isn't that going to, you know, you, you, don't you have an exclusive It's not doing very good. Uh, my 99 cents. Yeah, because you need to raise your prices. Oh, guys. damn. Oh, I'm not making a lot of money on yeah. that. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be no more tweeting, no more Twitter blue, no more retweeting, no more any of those other things. Remember, they're either going to want to try to destroy those things because it doesn't fit the, the current brand. So it's like, I, I don't know what's happening. And then I don't know if the... the, the <coughs> board... X, the everything app. Yeah, he wants to make it like WhatsApp is in, in China because WhatsApp controls everything out there. And he's constantly said that that's what, what his goal is. WhatsApp is their, is their PayPal. It is also their Twitter... It's how you get tickets. It's how you hold on to reservations. It is everything. Or, uh, and so um, or we, we chat, not, not WhatsApp. Uh, and so it's like that he wants it to be this everything thing where he's got complete and total control of everything that you do in your daily life. And it's like, that's, I don't want that. I don't even want the Twitter part. I don't want any of that other stuff. So I, you know, I wish him guck, luck or whatever, but I, I don't know. No. Uh, Shit. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's smart. That sounds smarter, actually. Thank you for explaining that part to me. Mm. If that's what he's going for, where he's like, eventually I'm going to add a, a payment component here. I'm going to add a ticket master component. I'm going to add he wants to be the a bunch of him. a bunch of things to it. Then then fine. Now I understand it. I honestly thought that this guy was just over overnight. I want to go ahead and just rebrand. I don't like you know. I don't like the fact that I was forced into buying this. And I don't like the name Twitter. I want to get rid of it. I'm just want to call it X. No. It's it's a little more in depth than that. There it is. Um, he wants to to grow it now. Does that mean it's gonna succeed? No, you know. So, but now I understand a little bit more. I still think the name is dumb. Yeah. But yeah. he's trying to change Twitter into something else because honestly, uh, Twitter right now is not working. Mm-hmm. Okay, it wasn't working before uh, as far as money making, but I think it was rushed a little bit too much in that sense. And then it certainly wasn't working when he took it over and fucked it up even worse. All those advertisers dropping off, all related to dumbass fucking decisions that he was making. So honestly, this now, in greater context, it may make a slightly more sense, but it is a desperation move. It is, uh, okay, well... T- 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 Hell Mary now. we I have to turn this thing into something that it's not because what it is right now is not working for mm-hmm. me. So, all right, well, let's see if it pays off. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing no. But no I'm not going to. Yeah. Uh, I, I, think, I think maybe the, the everything app is uh, has potential and does sound good, mm-hmm. but if he's heading it up and making the same kind of decisions that he was making you know, recently, uh, it's not, I don't know. I don't think it'll work. And plus, the, the the American market is much different than the Chinese market. It's so much easier for, like, you know, one big mega corporation to, like, gain control of everything over there, you know, with government approval if they have close ties and, you know, bribing. Yeah, yeah. Options guess, they, they know all the right people and stuff. And they want to monitor everything that you say to make and sure that your social credit, social score. credit scores yes. and everything. So it's a little bit different market. John Spartan, you've had impure thoughts three times this week. You're, you're fine. 100 social credit. It's like, oh, okay. Shit. Oh, all right. Cool. All right. Well, that's what I got over here. All right. Sweet. Well, um, let me see. Did I, uh, my laptop started working. So, um, oh, somebody uploaded uh, the most awful E3 presentation in HD for the first time ever. So, Sony's E3 2006 presentation 
was just randomly uploaded in 1080p. Is so that where they re- first revealed uh, Skull Island? 2006? <laughs> Skull- <laughs> Actually, yeah. So, um, entire two hour conference. So, if you want to see that shit in HD, go back in time. It was, if y'all remember, it was the birth of the Ridge Racer, where he was. And then he kept, and then he kept saying it and trying to get people excited for his race and people were like, eh. and then he's like, "This game is historically accurate. It has giant enemy crabs." <laughs> and yeah, so it was, it was that. And then the, and then in yeah, HD, kind of curious. I want to see it again. <laughs> yeah, and then in HD, you can see the uh, that definitely silent reaction in the faces when he announced that. PlayStation 3 was going to be not for 99 $3.99, $5.99. And then everybody's like, he was expecting people to like, whoa, clap and stuff. Yeah. And everybody's like, uh, excuse me, what? Why is it so expensive? Ouch. And then some of the games were more than $60? Yeah. So, Ugh. blast from the past. Thought it's fun because, you know, we don't really, we won't. It's a sad time. E3 is dead, and you don't really get these kinds of cringe fests. Actually, you still go- do get the cringe fests, but in a different way. Mm. So these, you remember, we watched the Ubisoft thing together. That thing was fucking yeah. ridiculous. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got. Uh, stay tuned for episode dose, and make sure you visit our sponsor and yes. check out some extra well, wallets. A lot of people were saying, you know, they ask us about like the other wallet, like Ridge Wallet, and these are so much less expensive. Ridge Wallets can be well over a hundred dollars. Our wallet, if you click those links down below, just over sixty bucks. Yeah, cool did the research for it. Yeah. Talked with Ridge Wallet. What well, already, you know, I I said send me all the product. I tested these all myself. Bought a few from Amazon, even some cheap knockoffs and stuff. This. Best one, guaranteed. Best price, best quality, and coolest people as well. All right, guys. Uh, We'll see you on episode two and the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys.